Back on Morning Line, our guest this morning, Butch Spirit and CEO of the Nashville Visitor and Convention Bureau, or do I have that backwards? Convention and Visitors <laughs> Corporation. It's good to have they you on. They come in any order. In any order. Same type of thing. <laughs> uh, uh, we're streaming on Facebook if you have a question at newschannel5.com, or you can give us a call. And, you know, you, we have some images, I think, that you brought in of the stage. Just to mm -hmm. walk around it yourself to see it in person is pretty awesome. But, okay, now that's obviously a distant shot, but it's showing the different locations, I guess, right? I so, mean, yeah. Lower broad. Yep. Wow. Obviously, that's lower broad looking at the main stage. So that's that's um, looking back down. They had to take mm -hmm. down the uh, the guitar, right? Yes. And And uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be a huge stage there. And if you're gathered um, there on lower broad, that's what you're going to see. There'll be screens and sound all the way down broad to Fifth Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, the bridge will be activated. Uh, and then the lot R at Nissan Stadium is where the bulk of the fan experience is. Okay, and as far as parking is concerned, which is a nightmare whether there's a draft <coughs> or not, I'm sorry, it just is, um, there will obviously be private parking spaces, which will not be cheap, uh, but you've tried to take steps to provide free parking in a lot of areas? Sure, and, and maybe another example of really the NFL's attention to detail. They said the event's free. We don't want, you know, people to be taken advantage of on the parking side. So with the cooperation of the Titans, lots A, B, C, and D mm -hmm. will be free. Um, oh, then okay. All of them over there, A, B, C, uh, over, 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 over at, at the, Nissan at Stadium. The stadium. Okay. And then you have and to walk over. And then there's main event parking across Woodland Street, all right. which has about 500 spaces. It'll be free. Okay. Uh, we've rented it at first come, first serve. And then Cornerstone Church at... Uh, Mm -hmm. Jefferson Street and I-65 or I-24 mm -hmm. uh, will be free and it'll be staffed and then at night on the downtown side state parking lots will be free and uh, on Saturday the HCA lot in the North Gulch will be oh, free awesome. as well so okay. overall I think we have about 7,000 free parking free spaces park. Yeah, not folks, bad. Folks that maybe are using ride chairs, is there a place you would suggest where there's a ride chair drop off uh, or anything like the that? The normal Titan ride chair okay. uh, drop off at the stadium, I think it's lot P, mm -hmm. will be uh, activated for ride chair and KVB mm -hmm. uh, between 5th and 8th and Commerce Street between 3rd and Fifth. And fifth. Okay, so yeah, a lot of people come in for that. Yeah. And then they can walk across the bridge yeah. to make their way over from We would side. strongly encourage ride chair on the downtown side or parking at the stadium and walking. Parking at the stadium and walking. All right, um, let's take Mike. Mike, good morning. Hi, Mike. Hi, how you doing? Good. What's on your mind? Oh, well, I just wanted to ask. I think this is going to be a good thing for the city overall, but I, my question is, is what is the cost of this? What is the estimated cost, and how much is the NFL putting up for this event? Well, yeah, right. He probably just joined us because we touched on it, but go ahead. Yeah, we were talking about it. Um, my estimate, because I, I don't know exactly what the NFL is spending, but I think the rough production costs are close to $20 million. Uh, NFL, I would say, is in the 15 16 million. We raised 2 million from the private sector and then we've tapped an event fund that we apply for our grant. That's how we fund a number of the other big events in town. So no general fund money. Uh, over 75, probably 80 percent is NFL's cost. Okay, NFL cost. Yeah. Um, I was asking you how many, yeah, the big deal here obviously is the players getting chosen, I guess. How mm -hmm. many players are going to be here? First round? 23 is? players have been confirmed <coughs> okay. uh, to be here. They obviously like to have less than 32 mm -hmm. with the hope that all are picked okay. in the first round. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay, and so you said the famous green room where players sometimes mm -hmm. uh, sit waiting for their names to get called. Yeah. You remember the famous story with they Aaron Rodgers? They should have named it after Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There is a green room, I guess, on one end of the stage mm -hmm. and it's but it's set up like you said a little different it's not some dark room where you're sitting there by yourself wondering what's going on no the uh if you're facing the stage to the left or stage right if you're in the business it's a 460 mm -hmm. foot long i'll call it green room it's the media center mm -hmm. uh, it's the interview rooms it's uh the players green room so they will all be housed there if you get credentialed you'd be working mm -hmm. out of uh out of that area but instead of just having a hard wall tent, I guess somebody very intelligently, yeah. not me, yeah. uh, looked and went, wait a minute, the Cumberland River, Nissan Stadium, have the so the drop. wall is glass right. instead of tent. I think brilliant. 
All Another right. pause for now. Yeah, and okay, just to be clear then, um, the activities begin on Thursday, right? Thursday at noon at the Fan Experience. At the Fan Experience. Now, people can go online now and get in line. The tickets are free, right? Um, it's just you have to find out the queue where you can get in. Is that you're going to have to have a yeah, ticket? Or is uh, it gonna you be know, a you don't need ticket? a ticket, and you don't need the Fan Mobile Pass to get in. You are will have to go through security like any normal right. sporting event. But mm. The app gives you the opportunity to know when somebody might be signing, who might be playing when, not might uh, be who's okay. playing when. A little extra detail. And this area is what, what areas can be closed off? Now we were showing the pictures of on Lower Broad where you're looking up at the screen. Now anyone can walk in there. Is all that closed in? And you're going to have to have the pass to get in. Or is it uh, mostly just down around First the stage? First Avenue around the stage. You need to have the okay. right credential gotcha. to get in, and that from First to Second Avenue. Everything else is free access All right. and, and that, easy access. That first night, um, it's, is it just the first three rounds? Just round one. It's, it's just round one just on round Thursday one. night? Okay. All right. We'll put some music on before the draft starts. We'll yeah. finish with fireworks. We'll have fireworks all three nights. All three well. nights. And so it wraps up. And then the next day, what time does it start on uh, Friday? Just the uh, same. same thing. Fan experience opens at noon. Mm -hmm. Draft starts at 7. Okay. Um, and and then, then Saturday at 11. All right, and the marathon's going to be going all around this on Saturday. Uh, <coughs> marathon's been great. It's their 20th anniversary. So you, you, uh, are you shooting to get below four hours this time? I am. You're I'm going to be running from somebody, <laughs> I'm sure. So I probably have my fastest, you know, okay. my PR. Yeah, but I mean, all right, so have you sat down now and anticipated any potential problems? I mean, what, uh, of course you have. There has to be where you've sat down with your staff and said, okay, what can go wrong and how do we prepare for this? Uh, I'd say that is a NFL C3 as their production team and our staff and that happens every day and we've started daily meetings. Okay. Does NFL <coughs> send its own security staff too? Yes. I, I would imagine. Yes. They, they're famous for their security. They're, so they'll have theirs. I we've guess, learned so much. Are they working hand that? in hand with yes. the PD as well, right? Yeah. Can't say enough about Metro PD, they've been fabulous. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they have pushed back on the NFL appropriately, so when it was right, but everything's been. But that they, they'll work together oh, on that. Okay, in, insanely good. Um, yeah, you worry about everything from weather. We're getting weather updates every morning. Started that last week. What's it looking like right now? I'll uh, have to ask Leland. But it's not bad okay. right now, but it's still. You just don't know. It's yeah, too early. To and so if it got, it did get really, if the rain got bad you would go on. The stages are such that you can do it in the rain. If there was lightning, that's where you would have to consider moving indoors to what, Skirmerhorn? Uh, Skirmerhorn Symphony Hall would be where the formal draft commissioner and the picks okay. would take place. But that's only going to be in the event of lightning or obviously severe weather like a tornado or right. something like that. But other than that, you can handle rain. We, we haven't missed a July 4th or New Year's Eve. Well, that's right. Yeah, okay. so, so the same apparatus. Did, did, did the July 4th preps and all of that with the size of the people help you prepare for this? Absolutely. Help police, helped our staff, helped NFL understand that we know how to do a big event. Right. Because I, we'll go back to us being the underdog and the least likely. Mm -hmm. You think about Vegas, you don't worry. Vegas, right? more money than God, and yeah. just they do whatever. But Nashville, they're like, how would they do that, that yeah. small market? Right. Well, I, I wonder, yeah. it, didn't this come about? I mean, they had to remember the experience of what it looked like when the Preds were playing for the Stanley Cup uh, final. Maybe they got a picture. Don't you think? Come maybe on. Maybe they that got a picture to emailed to them yeah. the morning after game six Did, is of that the right? final. Yeah, with the crowd uh, and the you people and how it was. But I mean, I how big a deal was that? Because it's interesting. The NHL here in town had to have a role in bringing the NFL draft here. I think it did. Uh, it made us prepared, especially because we'd mm -hmm. never done it before. Mm -hmm. uh, it grew organically every game, so we were making it up or fixing it on the fly. Yeah. Um, and we did 11 watch parties, three concerts, and two TV shows uh, with no budget, no preparation. Right. And it worked. So it showed our ability to adapt and create. You're talking about, because that was on the fly, you didn't know how far they would go. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this you've known about the NFL draft for quite some time to prepare. Mm -hmm. Whereas with prep, well, yeah. Uh, with, uh, well, 11 well, months. 11 <laughs> months. All right, now we haven't gotten any calls or comments on this is good. Was any, do you, did you take anything away from the whole cherry tree debacle? Uh, yeah, you have to. Um, <clears throat> if you don't learn something from those things, then, then 
what I was saying. Yeah, was but when you service. decided to go up front and give that news, or I guess it was that Saturday morning, and I mean, I just thought, I mean, that's that's the way to handle it. You, you um, had the way you did that. We, I would say, we thought we had a good plan before we yeah. had worked diligently with horticulturalists at parks, but we didn't think it all the way through. Uh, <clears throat> And we weren't trying to hide. I think I said I did a media interview March 18th mm -hmm. where I mentioned we were going to be relocating or removing and replacing trees. Um, so it was out there, but it wasn't that mm -hmm. big a deal at the time. So, yeah, a little more sensitivity to it. Um, better communication on the front end. Yeah. Uh, and... I mean, we care. Yeah, you said yeah. you walked down there yesterday. Yeah, them I was out. checking them out. They're still alive. They're still alive. That's good. <laughs> I knelt at every one and did a, a prayer. <laughs> Maybe uh. watered them a bit. All right, listen, we'll take a break. When we come back, it'll be our final segment with our guest uh, as we wrap things up just in anticipation of what is going to be one of the biggest, uh, you know, long weekends, if you will, starting on Thursday in Nashville history. We'll take a break and be back with more and more calls. If you have a question, same thing on Facebook as well. Stay with us.